Well, this is Gemini, and there is one thing that I like about Gemini, that is it has plenty of models under its belt. There is a model for creating text, there is also a model for creating pictures like Gemini and Nana Banana, and there is a somewhat hidden model called Gemini TTS, and basically this is a text-to-speech model similar to Eleven Labs or Morph AI, and you can use it to convert text into a very realistic and human-sounding voice in just a few seconds. In fact, in many ways, Gemini TTS is actually better than Eleven Labs because you can easily change the tonality or the accent or emotion of the character in the voice and overall it is very intuitive but as i said for the longest time this model is hidden and it is not quite accessible in the google's gemini app or website so for the longest times it is only accessible via vertex ai studio or google ai studio in fact that's one place that i do recommend for most people if they are interested to create or to convert text into speech using that model and i do recommend to check that video because i talk about how you can use the models the text -to speech model in google ai studio to create single speaker audio or even a multi-speaker audio like dialogue or podcast using that model and that's actually quite easy to use and there are some application of it and i do recommend to check that videos on my channel anyway with all with that being said i'm not going to be talking about google air studio in this video i'll just show you how you can access this amazing model gemini tts directly in Google's Gemini app and website. So basically, we are gonna be creating an app within an app in Gemini, and we can use that app, the text-to-speech app in Gemini, to, well, to convert text into speech. So let me show you how you can do it. Now I'm going to refresh the page to create a new thread. And by the way, this method can be applied even if you're using the free version of Google AI subscription. Now here, Basically, you have to copy and paste this prompt from the description, just copy and paste. And basically, what you need to know about this prompt is that it is instructing, instructing AI to generate a text-to-speech app within Gemini. And it is going to be powered by the Gemini TTS model. And of course, it is going to be following the instruction or best practices from this official documentation from Google. So that's basically everything that you need to know. And this app is going to be simple. We are not going to be utilizing the multi-speaker capability. It is only for a single speaker. But if you want, you can always modify the instruction and tell AI that you want to create an app with the multi-speaker capability. Anyway, after that, click tools enable canvas and for the model here i'll just select the pro version because that's usually the recommended model if you want to create an app or coding using gemini now when you're done just send a message and just wait for about one or maybe two minutes for this AI tool to create an app again an app within an app and it is going to be powered by the gemini tts model so i'll just skip a while and show you the next step that you can do Okay, so the app has been generated and the UI could be slightly different, but more or less you can see that there's the option to insert a text, select the voice, and also you can specify the speech style to AI. Now, sometimes there could be a problem and that could happen and just click the fix error and immediately AI or Gemini will look into the problem and fix the problem. And after that, you can start utilizing this app to create audio or speech from text. Now, again, I'll just skip over and show you the next step. Okay, so finally, there is no more problem. And I guess we can start using this app. So I'm going to insert this text. Let me just copy and paste. Put it here. You can select the voice. There are plenty of options. Okay, let me just select randomly. And I'm not going to be utilizing the speech style at the moment. I just want to show you how amazing this feature really is. But we have to do a comparison. So I'm going to create voice or speech without utilizing this feature first. So click generate speech and just wait for a few seconds depending on the length of the speech. And then later you can preview the audio that was created by the Gemini TTS model. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to click the play button and listen carefully 
I can't stop smiling after hearing the good news that I got accepted into my dream university, and I've been calling everyone I know to share the excitement. Now, I'm going to instruct AI to use Australian accent. You know what? Strong Australian accent. General speech, and you'll see, or you'll hear, it is going to be very different than the first iteration. It's going to have that Australian accent, or perhaps you want to use Indian accent, British accent, Texas accent, it's up to you. And you can even change the emotion, tonality, or even the feeling or vibe of the voice. It's just up to your imagination. Now I'm going to play the audio again and listen carefully. I can't stop smiling after hearing the good news that I got accepted into my green university. And I've been calling everyone I know to share the excitement. All right. Yeah, that's definitely a very strong Australian accent. So this is being powered by the Gemini TTS model. And there is actually a limit on how many times you can use it. But so far, I would say Google Gemini is very generous when it comes to giving away built-in API access in the Gemini app. So I don't think you have to worry about how many times you can use this tool. I think you can create even hours of audio for free using the Gemini text-to-speech model via Gemini Canvas. So that's basically the one workaround that you can utilize to create an app or to, to utilize the Gemini TTS model in Google's Gemini Canvas mode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.